folks, and we are all set to talk about one of my favorite subjects of all time, Jackie. <laughs> we're talking about things that were born because of William Shakespeare. Yes! <laughs> uh, we're not lying, folks. Uh, welcome back to the program. Uh, we're talking about, uh, for those people that are not uh, Shakespeare aficionados, uh, did you realize? Like I, Lou. I had to put up, anyway, um, <laughs> with him in high school a lot. But anyway, the one thing he did do, which was kind of cool, did you realize that Shakespeare wrote a comedy, mm -hmm. Taming of the Shrew. There you go. Was a comedy written back in what in the 1500s. Uh, it was turned into a movie. Uh, what in the uh, in the 60s with uh, what uh, Liz Taylor and uh, Burton. Yeah. Uh, Richard Burton were Richard in the Burton. movie too. And now it's coming to Central Iowa. Look at you. You know more <laughs> okay. than I do about okay. this darn no, thing. No, it, it, it's Taming of the Shrew. It's the only thing that kind of put a smile on your face when we had to deal with all the Shakespeare stuff. <laughs> stuff, I said. Okay. Well, let's go to a comedy. How about a musical comedy, courtesy of Ankeny Community Theater? And we have a couple of the leads joining us this morning. Morning, Brad Church and Allison Bleeker joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, so let's talk about Kiss Me Kate, which is based off of uh, Shakespeare's Taming of the Shrew. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it. Well, it's a show within a show. So um, my character, Fred Graham, also plays Petruchio in the Taming of the Shrew portion of the show. Um, it's a show about, uh, it kind of has an underlying theme of uh, the two leads are um, ex, uh, exes and um, are divorced and uh, don't really like each other too much. <laughs> so the there's, there's a lot of fighting and mm -hmm. um, that type of thing going on uh, behind the scenes which as well as on stage. As I say, which fits well with your characters that you play it does. on the stage. Mm -hmm. Yes. So behind the scenes yes. and on the stage. So uh, you both have to basically play two roles because you're performers and then performing uh, your right. characters as mm -hmm. well. Uh, it, Tell us why, why did you guys want to be a part of this? What makes this musical so much fun? I just have a heart for the classics. Um, I consider Case, Kiss Me Kate as a classical musical. Um, I don't know, just it, it's my favorite, one of my favorites to do. Um, in the role I play, um, Lily Vanessi and Kate, um, like Brad was saying, we were um, divorced ex people, but the beautiful thing about playing her, she's very temperamental, but she also has a vulnerable side. Mm -hmm. um, I really do think she still has feelings for Fred, and they do develop again as the show progresses, but it definitely takes a lot of rage to get to that point first. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go on the roller coaster ride first to get to uh, all those beautiful moments, and uh, we're seeing that mm -hmm. here uh, with some rehearsal footage, because you guys do open up this weekend, mm -hmm. but love seeing the fun costumes and the colors just really popping off that Ankeny Community Theater stage. Yeah. Yeah, Cheryl Clark did an amazing job with the costumes, um, so we're really, really lucky to have her. And I know that with my wig in particular, we have, um, one of our producer, or not producers, but production team members, Alex. He works with Indianola Carousel Theater. Okay. Oh, sure. And he actually just said, hey, I have a bunch of wigs at home. Let's just put you in a wig. So he, shout out to him too. So. The, yeah, going all the way. So where yeah. else, uh, Lou, can you uh, have some Shakespearean moments as you've seen there, um, some fun performer moments, and uh, you know some gangsters all in one. All in uh, one. Now, I want to know how difficult it was for you to be performing uh, in a production and then have another production as part of that production. And how many <laughs> How many times? How many times did you guys get confused there? Well, it, it's not so much confused as it is, you know, Shakespearean dialogue oh, is almost a foreign language. It is a foreign language. So, you know, getting that to flow like dialogue was. Mm. We had a lot of table readings um, where we just simply went over the script and talked about you know where the pauses come how the how the dialogue works and it took a while i, I mean say, did you ever I, get I, what in the, the world it, am i saying no, <laughs> did, you ever get into the, did you ever get into it enough where you understood i'm glad you said that get into understood what you actually said well, or were you just reciting the words no i'm i'm a person who has to know what i'm saying in order to be able to portray what i want the meaning to be. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so I actually, d I got the dictionary out and I looked up the terms that I didn't know. Mm -hmm. You know, some of the words that I say um, and make what they no really sense. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, you know, we talk about clothing as habiliments, for instance. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know what that meant, you know, so. <laughs> I'm having flashbacks. I was going to say, taking you back <laughs> to your high school days. Thank you for that. Because that's what we had to do. I, you know, I don't want to distract it. Right. We had, to, we had to translate into common right. language what Shakespearean language was, and I know mm -hmm. exactly what you're you talking about. You have to. Or you have you, to. 
yeah. you well, aren't going to be able to portray what you're you doing do. all that hard work so when we're coming to enjoy it we know what you're talking right. about because mm -hmm. you're able to convey it in a right. way that Exactly. We know what and you're he saying. has a lot more Shakespeare than <laughs> <laughs> but, but the thing that is, to be honest with you, the thing that's magical about it, even if you don't know what mm -hmm. it is, but the way you present it, mm -hmm. exactly. people are going to understand what it's supposed to mean. Mm -hmm. Right. That's the magic of it. And yeah. as an actor, it's been really fun to actually go between characters and make those differences, um, even if they're slight. It's just been a lot of fun. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're talking about beautiful language, a right. fun story, but let's not miss out on the fabulous songs and music that are part of this show. You're Even if you're not familiar with the production, you're going to probably recognize a handful of songs in this show. Well, it's a it's kind of a Cole Porter songbook. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, you have Wunderbar. You have another opening in another show. You have Too Darn Hot. Uh, so in love. Mm -hmm. uh, brush, brush up, up your Shakespeare. Your Shakespeare. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone knows that one. <laughs> so many good songs. Yeah. All mm -hmm. put into one fabulous production that officially opens this weekend, right? It does. Friday yeah. night. Okay, yep. so give us all the details so we can get as many people there as possible. So we do open Friday, um, April 5th, and we run uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday this weekend okay. with 7.30 shows on Friday and Saturday, 2 o'clock on Sunday. Okay. And then the next week it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. Again, those Thursday through Saturday at 7.30 and Sunday it's two o'clock. All right, and we want to remind everybody this is Ankeny Community Theater, so it's up in Ankeny, just a hop, skip, and a jump from here mm -hmm. on Southwest uh, Third Street. So uh, that's where you need to go. If you want to get tickets, very easy to do so as well. You just head to their website, ankenycommunitytheater.com, and you'll be able to see that button right there. You can click on and make sure you have your tickets to see a fabulous uh, production starting this weekend. What, what are you guys looking forward to most? Now that you've put in all the hard work, the costumes, the music, you're ready to go. What do you I think we're to? ready for an audience yeah. now so we can see how funny we are. <laughs> <laughs> Was that difficult to, to realize, you know, how funny you could really well, be? You know, because you, everybody heard your line so many times, well, probably exactly. not responding. And you, you never know what people are going to react to in live theater. Uh, what's funny to you might not be funny to someone else, and what mm -hmm. isn't funny to you might be funny to someone else. So it's nice to get those reactions yeah. and, and mm -hmm. see the uh, and hear the audiences. Uh, reaction to the lines. I so. love that. How about you, Allison? What are you looking forward to? Um, one of my favorite things as an actress is just being able to share a story with other yeah. people right. and just taking the audience away from whatever is going on in their lives and just bringing magic to the stage. Give them so. a chance to love laugh. It. Exactly, yeah. And it's, it's They're going to laugh in this show. There's going to be a lot of funny moments. So. Right, we have a lock. We have a guarantee. Okay. <laughs> well, I tell you what, okay. Being in the theater world, I've heard amazing things about this show. Uh, so looking forward to the opening coming up this weekend, and we want to wish mm -hmm. you nothing but the best of luck. Grad Church, Allison Beekler, thank you so much yeah. for joining us. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for being here. Celebrating mm -hmm. the arts in Iowa. Remember, if you want more details to check out the rest of the season or purchase tickets for this one opening this weekend, ankenycommunitytheater.com. All right.